Hi, I'm Jill Dawson, an educator, artist, and maker who likes to light things up. About two years ago, I started experimenting with paper circuitry in my bookbinding. Because I tend to use a lot of tiny surface-mounted LEDs in my work, I'm often asked for advice on how I get them to stay put. I've found that while tape works pretty well for small projects, soldering is the best way to ensure a robust connection that holds up over time. Today, I'm going to demonstrate the technique that I use for soldering surface-mounted LEDs to paper circuits. Before we get started, you'll need the following tools and materials. A soldering iron with a clean tip, eye protection, tip cleaner or fine sandpaper, lead-free solder, copper tape, clear tape, surface mount LEDs, a power source, and a notebook. Now that you've gathered the supplies, it's time to lay out a circuit. I usually plan mine out on paper first. This particular circuit has a lot going on with some crossovers and a spot for a microcontroller, which I'll talk about later. Once I'm happy with my circuit, I tin the tip of a hot iron and then carefully melt the solder, or flux, over the joints connecting different pieces of the copper tape. I try to do this quickly because the copper tape can lose its adhesion if it gets too hot. Spread out the solder to prevent the creation of thick blobs. Once I've soldered the joints, I connect the circuit to power and ground. Then I tape each LED down to ensure that the positive ends are touching the positive leads and the negative ends are touching ground. This is a good way to ensure that the joints have been soldered correctly. You can usually tell which side of a surface mount LED is the negative side by looking for a dot or a line on that end. Some LEDs have markings on the back that point to the negative side. Leaving the circuit connected to power, I usually start by soldering an LED close to the center of the circuit. To help hold the LED in place, I gently peel back the tape on one end, leaving the opposite end in place. Then, being very careful not to touch the hot iron to the tape, I tin the tip and add a dot of solder to the point where the LED comes into contact with a copper tape. After finishing one side of the LED, finish peeling up the tape and solder the other end. Repeat this process for all of your LEDs. In case you're wondering how I got my LEDs to blink and fade, I programmed an ATtiny85 microprocessor using an Arduino board. You can learn more about using the ATtiny85 to program your circuits by visiting nextmap.org. I hope this lesson's convinced you to try soldering in your paper circuitry projects. Mm -hmm.